Ever wonder why JavaScript sometimes acts a little weird with equality? Today, we're cutting through the confusion of double equals and triple equals. You've got two ways to check if values are equal in JavaScript, the double equals and the triple equals. And trust me, knowing the difference is crucial for clean code. First up, double equals, loose equality. This one tries to be helpful, sometimes too helpful. It performs type coercion. That means it tries to convert both sides of the comparison to the same data type before checking their values. Here's an example. Comparing number five to string five, what do you think? That's true. JavaScript converts the string five into a number before comparing. Or how about comparing zero and false? Yep, that's true too. JavaScript often treats false as zero. See how that can lead to surprises? It's like JavaScript is saying, I think these are similar enough. But similar enough often means unexpected bugs down the line. Now for our hero, triple equals or strict equality. This is what you'll want to use 99% of the time. It checks both the value and the data type. If the types are different, it immediately says false. No questions asked, no coercion. Let's retry those examples with triple equals, comparing number five and string five. This time it's false. Why? Because one is a number and the other is a string, different types. And comparing zero and false, also false. Much more predictable, right? Strict equality helps you avoid those tricky implicit conversions that can hide problems in your code. It forces you to be explicit about what you're comparing. So the big takeaway, while double equals exists, it's a source of potential headaches and subtle bugs. For robust, predictable JavaScript, always default to triple equals. It makes your code clearer, safer, and easier to debug.